Yo guys, I'm Fast Fingers, and welcome to the first of a series in Farming Simulator 15. We're going to start on the new map, Beyond Home, which is, uh, I think it's new in this uh, version. Uh, so let's get into it. Start. Let's wait for it to load. Look at the scenery, let's hope it's as good as that. Start. Welcome to would you start a shortcut guide? Nope, I've already played on it. Start the guide to a later. If you like to start the guide to a later time, simply start a new career and you will be asked. Okay. So I gather this is my house. Ooh, garden needs a uh, grass needs cutting. Wow, look at that field, it's huge. Oh, and it's uh, 6.42 in the morning. Cool, and I've got 11,993 euros. It's not a lot, is it, really? Right, so this is a combine harvester. Let's jump in by pressing E. Got to attach that. By pressing Q. Unfold harvester because it won't let you hire a worker until you do. Uh, there's no point having straw on because we haven't got any implements to do it anyway to uh, pick it up. And I can't bother buying it. So let's just hire a worker. Press E again to jump out. Oh, did you see the stairs come out? Oh, cool. Let's go and have a run around, see what else we've got. Space bar to jump, guys. What's in here? There's nothing in here. Oh! <laughs> yep, you're a noisy shit and all. Anyway, let's jump on. We've got a well. Oh, so where's all the equipment then? Ah, tractor. Oh look, there's the silos. That's a nice little tractor. I suppose best get this on because we want to empty him out soon, won't we? Well, let's go and have a quick tour of the farm. <coughs> now, if we did have a straw, I don't know what they call them actually, a trailer to pick the straw up off the uh, combine harvester, that's where we'd put it. We'd reverse up into there. I can put bales in there too. We haven't got a bale yet, I don't think. I'm surprised if we have. Gonna have a look round here. I've got to wait there. Put that on. Nothing in there. Q to attach. Sweet. Oh, look, there's another tractor down there. Nice. That's a different one. Yeah, that's one of the bigger ones. Oh, looking on the left, that's the feed for the sea drill. And this will be needing that soon, I suppose. And then we have wood chips on the left-hand side. Uh, I think that's beets there. I'm not sure. It's either potatoes or beets. Oh, that's potatoes there. And that one's beets. Here's the silo. Right, let's have a quick look at the map by pressing 9. Oh, we're right there where it's flashing. The combine harvest that we can see. Oh, so we're on fields 24, 29 and 38. Cool, that might uh, give us some cash coming in. Number 9 again to get rid of it. I think we're best go and have a look at... Uh, 38 to be honest, Let's see what state it's in. Oh, we've got this one, haven't we? Yeah, 24, so we need to uh, 
don't need cultivating that, that's good. Oh wow, where's he? Oh, he's just done 38. Right, that's cool. So I suppose we best get him back to the farm. Let's have a look inside one of these tractors. Well, basic as hell, but still. Seems quite fast. Tay, which is another cool feature of this one. Let's just jump out. Look. Tire tracks. I think they stay on for a, a bit of time. I don't know how long, to be honest. What are them silos there for? I don't think they're for anything. Anyway, let's get back to the farm. This is the granary of beer, or the grain refinery, whatever you want to call it. You can come and load in there in that shed. I will probably be using that very shortly. Kids feels in there too. I think what the aim of the game is here, for us in the short term, is probably to buy one of these fields and then what we will do is plough this track up here and make it into one big field instead of two separates and then eventually we'll do the same with that field over there the big ones which is 25 oh let's not drive into the uh, barley is it that one Drive around. Out this side is where you refill the uh, connect to the silos. In fact, we can have a look in the silos now. Press I for information, and you're brought with this. That tells you the weather. There's no news to report. This is your finances for the day, I think. Uh, click on. All ah, right, this is. Oh, my storage has got 16,000, 70,000 of all these. So what we'll do is we'll wait for the prices to go up on some of these and then we'll sell them. And then we'll go to the, that's the different places you can sell to at the prices. Like for instance, canola, that always sells for a lot of money. Windmill, 2,095 euros per tonne. Oh, by the way, that equals nearly 18 tonnes there. Uh, but that transport company looked two point two hundred and thirty four per ton. That's good, good price. Yep. So then we'll go into the next one. Ah, this is where you, all your equipment is. This is kind of cool. So apparently we've got. Oh, that's the tractor that I'm in now. I think. Oh no, it's not. That's near the shop. So what we can do is, oh, we'll leave that there. But you can select all these items here, and if you press reset that'll put it back in your farm so it's like a delivery service I suppose and then you can enter the vehicle from there and this tells you the the state of uh, your fields like if you see there 29 it's half done because that's where we've half harvested it and what's the next one animals but well, we don't own any oh we own one chicken <laughs> Statistics. Obviously, there won't be much there because we haven't done much. Right then, so let's go find the seed drill. So I bet we oh yeah there's nothing in this because you can tell down at the bottom right hand corner. Right, refill is R. Let's get them so in our field. Wow, the lights aren't even flashing yet on the combine harvester to indicate that it's getting full.
get a hired hand to do this for us because we'll be emptying that anyway. Yeah, for a hired worker. Oh no, 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 we don't want to do that. What are we, what are we planting? Uh, yeah, let's do wheat. That's it. Right, if I remember correctly, in the 2013 version, the hired help couldn't turn corners very well. It went off at diagonals and all sorts, so let's see how this guy does. Oh, look, here we are at the shop. Let's have a look here. Right, so, if you ever come to sell any equipment, you put it in that square there, and then go over here and press R, and it'll sell but it'll sell for 20% 20, 20 more than if you uh, sold it from the farm. So that's always handy to know. Yes, we know that this is the vehicle shop, so we're gonna go in and have a look. Aha, uh -huh. all these harvesters and things. Well, actually, while we're here, we do need a fertilizer. 14,000, oh wow, we just haven't got enough. So what we can do is go around this side and there is an ATM. You can also access your uh, your bank by pressing insert as well. But as we're here, oh look we've got already got a loan £50,000. Mm, oh, repair now. Let's put it up to 100. Right, so we've got 61,000 to play around with go in here and we shall get that one by that now while we're here what else we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the uh, forestry equipment because obviously that's a new feature in this game so we do need to look at that oh wow really that's the trailer that makes us the money look at these scorpion king that is awesome by the way so we need some more money so we can buy that. But we do need a chainsaw. So let's buy a Husqvarna. There we go. I suppose we better go buy some more money. Oh, buy some more money. Borrow some more money. Hello. Hello. <laughs> anyway. Let's crack on. Uh, how much do we need? Oh, 70, that'll do. That'll do for now. Oh, look, there it is there. Cool. Let's go back in here. The forestry equipment. Select that. Let's buy it. And there she is. So what we can do, as we would like the tractor to be in use up here... Struggle to get back up to the farm, but yeah. don't think I'm going to make that. Right, so let's go back to the farm and we shall see how that harvest is doing. Let's have a bit of realism. Oh, that's hazards. That's number two, by the way, in my keypad. Uh, number three. Look <laughs> at that, the indicator on the opposite side is going. I suppose it's supposed to be on the back then. That's hilarious. Never mind. Wow, we're struggling to get up this hill. 
these trees here to the uh, right of us, those are the best trees to chop down to be honest because uh, they're straight and the branches just come off really easy whereas they they fetch the best money the longer and the straighter the uh, logs that you cut the more money you get from but whereas let me show you a tree up here like these things which I think are silver birch or something like that but they've got loads of branches on and everything and they're a nightmare to cut down and you end up with about 20 pieces to try getting the uh, in this trailer it takes ages oh yeah the silos are probably in there so what we need to do is we'll put down the logging trail for a start all them rocks are doing there so let's put him down there up oh, refill fertilizer press R oh wow we'll just blow him through that money but never mind we'll make that back quite easy <laughs> tipped up oh dear uh, lower the fertilizer and we shall go Q must be some heavy weight in that Never mind, what I can do is I can show you anyway. So if you press P and go to the shop, wait, and we'll buy the uh, 800 euro one. Buy that, yep. Now you'll see that it's not here, it's not around here. But if you press I and then go along to here, you can change that to tractors, harvesters, tools. Here we go. Now it's selected that one at the shop already, so we can go reset. No, wait on, wait on. No, that was the wrong one. No, it wasn't the right one. Yes, okay. Okay, that. It should be here. There she is. Get this on. Get out there, put her on. There we go. Oh wow, look, the tyres are getting muddy already. Oh, I forgot all about the harvester. We need anything by the looks of it. Oh, look at guys, still doing the. Uh... Oh, that's good. Right, so let's change tractors. Went to the harvester out. Oh wow, look at that. Comes through the bottom of the trailer. Now another new feature is, look how it's filling up the front of the uh, trailer. Now if you move forward, it'll actually start to fill up the rear of it. So you can level it out. That's cool, that's new. I don't think this trailer holds a lot though. We're already 50% full. Oh, I'll just show you another thing as well. Unlike 2013, where you had different speeds for your tractor, well, this has got cruise control. So, let's just say, for instance, with press number three, the cruise control is set at 43 mi is it kilometers? Yeah, kilometers per hour. And all I'm doing is steering it now. But let's set that down. By pressing number one, 
you take it right down or to whatever speed you fancy and two obviously goes up so let's set it at 10 mile an hour press 3 to activate the cruise control there you go all you need to do is steer it which I think is a better feature actually than just 1, 2 and 3 it's not realistic is it as such oops we're having problems here it's a tab to this one Wow, surprisingly it's smash into him actually. Let's nail fix that feel. Right, let's go into this into the silos. Get into the stop box. Now this tipper trail is ace. It, it, it'll it tip up in all sorts of directions like if you pressed it now it would tip up towards the sides but if you go over here and do it it actually tips up that way like a regular trailer tipper right okay so we need to get um, the tree Leave this tractor out in the field. Ready to pick the. Uh... Ah, look, it's finished now. We actually need to cultivate that field over, so I think we should get the other. Uh... Actually, let's uh, empty this out first. Oops. side. Yep, there we go. Right. Letter O is to uh, extend the pipe. Well, there's not much in here. Put it away. I don't actually know where to keep the hamster. I don't know if it'll fit in this building. Maybe if we reverse this. Wow, my reversing skills are awesome, aren't they? For a while, anyway. Straighten it up. There we go. Right, so let's get rid of this. Actually, we need that cultivator up here as well. Let's tap out. Where is it? Oh, he's on there. It's a bit more beefy, this tractor, isn't it? Once we get all this uh, seeded and growing, get on with some logging. Ooh. Shit. Nearly a collision. Oh dear, I sacked him. <laughs> Let's go get that uh, seed in the silos. Is this what is this truck to go away on from? Yes. So we could actually use this one for a bit of logging. Oh, 
There we go, you can see it tipping up at the side now. Wow, not much in there. Press G to change which tool you're using. There we go. Oops. Here we go. Let's go do some logging. when we come to buy these fields these trees will be in the way the tractors won't be able to turn around so I might as well uh, take a couple of them down especially this one right so to activate your uh, chainsaw you scroll down or press number one and then what you have to, at the minute it's uh, going vertically the cut but if you right, hold your right mouse button down and turn to the right it twists it round like that so we need it like that and then see that halo that's where it's going to cut that's like a laser line in it that you get on them right if you press control it crouches which I don't think was in uh, 2013 so obviously we want as much wood as possible here so let's cut in here now the physics on these trees is a bit weird sometimes it takes three cuts sometimes it takes two cuts so we want it to fall that way so hopefully if we do it from this side I think my cut's there so let's Files are going to roll. That's ridiculous. <laughs> the branches are just growing, going to the ground and out the other side like it's not even there. Anyway, to get rid of these branches, what I usually do is just jump onto the logs and then run up like this. We don't want these logs too long because it's not the greatest crane ever. So I've cut it into three, three sections. There's one. Oh, okay, then, so here's the other, I suppose. Right, so let's go. Oh, you can't run fast, by the way, by holding shift left shift and W down so you've got to put that away then it'll run faster pull up alongside this guy we should be able to get all the sections from here hopefully right, so let's jump in the trailer here we go. Right, so press X to put the uh, support feet down. Right, this is where the trickiness starts. So, if you hold the left mouse button down and drag it down, then it goes up. And then vice versa, if I 
you know, obviously up and then you just get used to it. Left and right, obviously, is to spin. So we need to spin it round here. Which section? Oh, we'll go for the heavy section. Right, okay. So we need to reach out. So the right mouse button, if you hold it and go to the left, then it telescopes out. Wow. Actually goes quite far, but you can't lift a lot of weight up there. Well, you can, but you have to just get used to how to do it. And then if you push it up, then that arm goes down. And then for the actual grabber bit, you push both mouse buttons down and hold, and then you can spin it left and right. And then up is to close, and then down is to open. And what you've got to do is just mess around with the angle of the uh, of the uh, view. Oh, look how it's pulling the tractor up. Did you see that? It will lift it, but what I tend to do is just get it off the ground and then drag it in. Brings the centre of gravity a little bit further back and then just lift it straight up and on. And then you want it as far up to the front as possible, really. And then just drop it in. There we go. You do get used to it quite easy, to be honest. And when they're close like this, I just extend the uh, thing out like that. get quite a lot of money for these I think for a trailer full you'll get about I don't know about 100,000 am I going to get it there it is a bit iffy this sometimes it the uh trunk of the tree just tends to does whatever it feels like doing to be honest sometimes there we go that's the first tree in I might as well wait here because I don't know where the hell it's going to roll to should we just check them tractors make sure they're all running still cultivating he's finished oh nice so let's set him off on this field and then what we will do is set this uh, this guy off on this field here we go here we go right which tree are we doing these two, okay. Well, I'll call the branches on this. It is a good idea as well to uh, buy the machine that uh, grinds the stumps away because your tractors can get stuck on them. It's going to fall the right way though. Oh wow. <laughs> There's a little uh, bit. Right, so that got rid of them all. You have to get rid of them all because when you're lifting it on the crane, if there's any branches left, oh, they just it just makes the actual uh, trunk flick all over the place. I 
think the idea is to get it so it's like that. Oh, which way is he falling? Oh, it's not, look. Oh, wow, you can climb up trees, look. Do another cut then. Let's go for a, a little bit more flat. Mm. Should do it this time. I better go backwards. Oh wow! It in. God, what's up with this tree? Must have a steel rod down the centre of it or something. I don't know that one's falling backwards. That's going to be fun to get in there. Wow, look at the rocks. Right, okay, so we've got this one here, which we can chop up. Glassy marble, what the heck? That's weird. Yep, I haven't chainsawed that other one up yet because what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag it down. This is another trick that you can do here, actually. If you get it... ...and up... ...like this... Go. ...always put your supports down. What you can do... ...extend that out... You can actually uh, chainsaw it down while it's on the back here. Sometimes. He says, ah, there we go. Oops. 
twist it a bit round, maybe. Oh, no, maybe not. Right, let's see if we can. Uh, bits then I think we will be uh, ready to go sell the wood have a try, very much doubt it. Wow, I don't think it's going to be able to lift that up to be honest, look how it's, what we might have to do. that it's going to drag us over so what I tend to do is leave it on the ground and then just pull it with a telescopic bit and sometimes you can just get enough so that it won't tip over and get it up high so the center of gravity is lifted up but at least it's nearer the center of the trailer it got it closer to us. Might be able to grab it in the middle now. Can we do it? Well, it wasn't exactly the middle, was it? But hey ho. trailer maybe help if I got it actually lined up with the trailer here we go well it's going to be sticking out the back should be alright though right should we grab that last bit Oops, we need to put the supports up. You can actually drive with the supports down, but it's not good. It tends to catch on everything. Need to see how them tracks are doing as well. We'll load this up and then we'll... Well, I shall have a look. Oops. Oh, the 
this is going to flick out, I'm sure of it. finished by the looks of it what you're best doing is making sure it's fully up and then just resting it on the top of them to <coughs> hopefully clamp it down a little bit and then uh, yeah that should be good to go Right, let's uh well oh, press too close. Right, okay, let's go sell it, but let's get these uh guys back to work. Well that field's fertilized. Okay, so he's finished and that's what the other guy's waiting for. Let's move him out of there. Oh, look how dirty he's trapped in there. Let him finish his business. In fact... Let's get him back down to the farm. And then we'll go sell this wood. I'll show you the best way to sell it. Get the best money. Cultivator. There we go. And we'll drop it there. As I said, I have played this on another profile for about 28 hours, so I know relatively where things are on the map, but if you press now, you can bring it up here. And then the lumber yard is up in the northwest corner of the map, so that's where we're heading. If a tractor has uh, flashing beacons on, you can press the home key, and then that will uh, set them going. Indicators on. Bit of realism. Don't know the speed limit is on here. Both it's under 42. Let's put 
cruise control on. Oh no, the cruise control is only at 10 mile an hour. take a shortcut across that footbridge but there's usually people around he won't do it in real life so There's gold coins as well around the map. I think there's a hundred of them. Oh no, we've come the wrong way. Oh dear. Let's get the hazard lights on. So when you've got all this uh, wood in your trailer, there's two places you can actually sell your wood at the lumber yard. There is this place on the left hand side, where you can basically just park up and drop the wood into the lake there, and that'll give you money. But the best place to sell it, and the quickest, is this thing here. Because all you need to do is let's see how much 13 1300 we've got right okay yeah, that's going to give me that so if we just drive onto here now oh look it's all disappearing well some of it is what we need to do is knock it off usually it would uh, wrong thing it's because it's up on the run as you see. Up there, see him go. And then, oh, look at it. Wow. 53,000 now. That's not bad. Let's just put this back right. But we're going to make some more money now by going over to this handle and pressing R and then that sends the train on and then when it reaches its destination we will get another load of money so let's wait for that you should hear the ka-ching ka -ching. all these trees here this can all be felled all these and I know it's a little bit of a cheat but you can actually do this as well right I want that to oh there was the money look 93,000 now tree to fall backwards if we can so I want it to fall over them train tracks roughly
Wow. This is one hell of a strong tree. What the hell is going on with it? Let's move further around, see if I've happened. There she goes. Timber! Oh, it landed pretty well where I wanted it to. That was kind of good. So what we have to do is this old trick, get rid of the branches. doesn't always work this but if you get it right you can basically do this So we've got 93,000. Wow, we've got uh, 17,000 for that. And then send the train off. Another 17,000 on top. Is it? Maybe. I don't know. 127,000. That's not bad going. Right, let's see how these guys are getting on. Well, he's finished now, which is really good. He's finished fertilising. So I think that's it for today, guys. Uh, we shall uh, come back and hopefully this stuff will have grown i'm not going to do any work off camera i want it all to be on so that uh, we can set up a decent foundation for a farm to start earning some money uh yep we'll buy some more equipment maybe another cedar maybe a a, a wider one and one that cultivates at the same time so you don't need to do two operations to plant seeds you can just get them planted straight away and then uh maybe some more forestry work i don't know Anyway, until next time guys, uh, see you later.